another day, another night, and we had a beautiful stay at Echo Lake, and we're heading for the second last day of our adventure. The plan today is to make it to Caslo, British Columbia, and we, I think we gotta take a ferry on there to get to the place. This, uh, this campsite was really nice, uh, but the mosquitoes were pretty awful. Uh, the, in the morning and uh, late night, the mosquitoes are all over. I dropped the bike yesterday uh, three times, and every time I dropped it, it was at a low speed, almost when I was getting to a stop. Good idea to invest in the protection of the bike, because uh, with all the gear and everything, nothing, not a single mark on a bike. So the heat crash bars are performing well and uh, the hard cases like they don't they, they didn't even bend uh, with a fully loaded bike nothing bent no dents uh, looks good It's raining just a little bit There is the, our driest guy Bike. On the driest bike, it's gonna get cleaned up a little bit with that stuff. Get the shine on it again. Look at this, eh? Three more hours of fire. Get, get a rag and start polishing. <laughs> Crap, this is pouring heavy. There is the boy with the tent on the bike, <laughs> scared of rain. So here we are waiting for a ferry to cross the road across the river or lake. I'm not sure. Is that a river or a lake? Will I find out? Lake. Lake it is. So the ferry is coming. Oh, not that many cars on there. Is the bikes on there? Yeah, there's a couple of bikes on there.
a provincial, that's uh, private. No, it's provincial. Is it? Did it say anything? No, it is. It's our municipal. Municipal. Yes. So that's uh, it's a municipal compound. Do you remember this? Just in case you're you're right. Oh, yeah. Sure? No? Yeah. No? Okay. No, Jim Pia Magista. Yeah. Chodźcie na piwo i mam jakieś inne drinki. Tata was odwiedzie. <laughs> O, to może ten, może zrobimy tak, że ja, ja ten, y, przyjadę po was samochodem. O, właśnie! Ja. To daj nam y, pół godziny. Ja. Na o, nawet, ja. No, żebyś ja, bo ja, teraz fajnie. Ja, byśmy może nie mi o ty, ta, I przyjadę po ja. samochodem i ten, i potem... I wtedy nie będziecie się przejmować ja. z jazdą. Ta, Dobra, bardzo ja dobrze. Tak, bo później jak się nie chcemy mm -hmm. rozwijać, mm -hmm. nie? Mm -hmm. Dobra. Okej, okay. to za pół godziny, 45 minut. Tak. Dobra. Damy wam to. some rain overnight but we slept good breakfast is done and ready for another day and Papchu snoring as always is on the left side it's uh, kind of tree the uh, be be behind the trees there was a nice view before but unfortunately my battery on my GoPro was uh, dead I think I forgot to turn it off uh, last night so we're just approaching uh, Queens Bay that's the almost the end of that lake Nice day comparing to what we went through yesterday. The, all that rain all day, heavy rain, and today so far so good. It looks pretty nice and uh, comfortable. I hope it stays like that for the rest of the day because I think we had enough rain on this trip. Overall, the weather was quite good. Uh, we had the rain uh, on and off. But uh, except for yesterday, pretty much most of the day was raining. But uh, other than that, uh, we were able to set up our campsites and uh, pack everything most of the time all dry. So that was a bonus. And uh, yeah, we have one more day today and tomorrow before we get home. We'll probably have another... I don't know, maybe eight hours away from home from here. But we will have to stretch that. So. So we are getting on a ferry that's in Balfour. That's the only ferry till for the next three hours, so we are lucky.
Ale teraz wszedłem? Nie ma ryby, nie mówią po polsku? Nie. Set, we're setting up here at Loon Lake. Well, we're almost done here. And time to have some chow. And Ram is waiting for us. <laughs> the boat with leopard pillow. <laughs> Uh, look at that. That's it. Okay. And a towel? Oh my gosh, you, you stole it from your wife, didn't you? No. She got a Nemo. Ne <laughs> Finding Nemo? No, no, no. That's my son. She got something else. The lake is there. Apparently it's warm, but we will find out. Starving. I've been eating all day. Yeah. Breakfast and the muffin at the ferry. And, and a cookie. Mm -hmm. I had a peanut butter cookie and muffin. Oh, the, no, not a muffin. What was the muffin, muffin was, no, that wasn't the muffin. That was um, the chocolate cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. She was about avalanche. Okay. But the muffin, the size. Roberto, what are we having for supper? We are having... Empty bowls. <laughs> Air. <laughs> Chicken and soup gumbo. 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 Gumbo or gumbo? Gumbo. Gumbo. Chunky. Gumbo. Things, things to do. Not us. Oh, no, this time you should stuck? Well, start your not. Are you serious? My trip is getting close to the end. I have another 350 kilometers uh, to get home. Uh, last night we stayed at Loon Lake, uh, just uh, down uh, the road, maybe uh, 30 kilometers here. It's a beautiful location. It is a provincial park, uh, but it's not a full uh, campsite with services. It's just a, they call it a recreational site. Um, it's a beautiful location uh, to come out uh, even uh, with the family for the weekend. A uh, nice and warm lake and uh, the camp count is beautiful. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we had a blast on this trip. Uh, Harley went off-road. Uh, that's uh, very, very unique. Uh, he made it through. Um, we did uh, 150 kilometers off-road. Uh, plus uh, we did a couple other shorter stretches as well and he was taking along pretty well uh, on this machine I'm surprised that uh, this couple pieces came off of it uh, it was funny but uh, he wanted it so I think he will be upgrading in the future to adventure bike uh, he liked it uh, so much uh, to hang out with us on this trip and I hope you enjoyed that video as much as we did enjoy the ride uh, even though the weather wasn't as great as we thought it will be and we were planning best we could uh, all the stops uh, uh, 
Uh, overall, it was not too bad. Uh, we had basically two heavy rain days, and other than that, the rain was on and off, and a couple sunny days in between. And uh, we had a blast, uh, and we're looking forward uh, to the next trip uh, that we're gonna start planning pretty soon. Uh, we do it once a year, a uh, bigger adventure like that. This adventure was uh, uh, supposed to be planned for um, 12 days, but it ended up to be at day number 10 today. So uh, we managed to see whatever we wanted to see a bit quicker. Now I'm heading home to my wife and daughter, hopefully safe and sound. And uh, thank you for being with me on this adventure. Uh, if you enjoyed that video, as always, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, Scuba Travel and Adventure, check out my other videos from my other trips as well, and uh, you can always comment down below and ask questions, I'll try to answer them best as I can, and uh, see you next time! This is Fernie, famous for its ski resorts. Ahead, there is a spider wood. This is where are the biggest, one of the major uh, coal mines. On the left, uh, you can see up ahead that there is a world's biggest truck uh, that was used in the mining, uh, here in the coal mining in this area. Uh, this area had a lot of coal mines which are still existing up ahead there and uh, producing coal to uh, supply the electricity to the power plant so this is the truck I won't stop here today because I stopped here on multiple occasions uh, when I was passing through this town and I have some photos uh, maybe I'll attach it to that video uh, yeah so when you stand by this truck it's uh, you look like a midget and as you see on top there uh, on these mountains uh, you can see the coal dugouts everywhere so pretty soon I will be getting from BC to Alberta so now I I'm entering Alberta so another province that's my home province there's few lakes around here as well and it's a beautiful Feels like Florida Keys. And there we are, welcome to Alberta, the wild rose country, crossless pass in front of us. Yeah, as I mentioned, this is a Frank slide on April 29, 1903. Most of the almost 600 residents of the coal mining town of Frank were asleep at the coal mine. The night shift was down in the mine and few men were working on the surface in the mine buildings. At 4.10, a crushing thunderous roar filled the dark sleeping town and spilled out into a closeness pass. A wedge of limestone over one kilometer wide, 425 meters long and 150 meters deep had broken from the crest of the Turtle Mountain. It smashed apart and it slid downwards, breaking into boulders that rolled and bounced down the side of the mountain and spread across the valley. In about 90 seconds, homes, buildings and lives were destroyed. The rocks covered part of the frame, closed the entrance to the mine and swept away the mine buildings, those working in them. The miners underground managed to the tunnel their way out to the surface. The slide had also buried a construction camp livery, stables, tents, store and some ranch building. 
70 people are known to have died. The sound of the slide had been heard kilometers away and clouds of limestone dust hang over the pass for quite a while. While daily life gradually returned to flank, the slide remained an imposing presence. As the one resident commented, the slide is always with us. So as you see here, this is the mountains and the rock, crushed rock everywhere and all the way across the other side. Time to exit on a highway trip that's taking me home. So now I'm back on the prairie. The mountains are on the left, leaving them behind and uh, getting closer and closer to home. Because this is a high wind area and uh, in this uh, section of the province uh, we have a lot of uh, windmills that produce electricity uh, that's near the Puncher, Puncher Creek area and uh, on the way to Waterton National Park. So yeah, look at the truck, uh, it's pushing him over. It's a pretty powerful wind at least 150 kilometers per hour. All right, I can see Calgary in front of me. There is no down. And I'm really off to South Calgary right now. I could do another couple of weeks, but uh, it's also nice to get home to the family. And have a shower, finally proper shower. I survived over a week with only two showers and uh, washing myself in the rivers and lakes. Caveman lifestyle, but uh, it was fun, it was worth it. And welcome home! There are some construction still. Great. They are always digging. It's a new community. I still gotta get some gas, some dry. Uh, I was going, like I said, against the wind and uh, the fuel economy sucked. I got about 300 kilometers on the tank. Gotta gas it up so it's ready for the next ride after a nice bath. She needs a bath. <laughs>